So this weekend I'm ministering in Langebaan and I thought I'd take you along for the journey, show you a little bit behind the scenes, what we get up to. The car is packed, got my wheelchair, which is quite essential. Some of you might know Arnu, he always helps with some of the video work. So come along for the weekend and... Welcome to Longabon. Okay, no problem. We just stopped here. So we just got here, unpacked a little bit, and I thought I'd show you how the accommodation looks. Noah is making himself right at home there. I don't know who's probably going to be sleeping on the couch. We have a small little kitchenette, little workstation, and we have a little bathroom here, and then one bedroom. So this bathroom, we actually have a little bit of a problem. This space is a little bit too tight to get past here, so I can't even get to the toilet or the bath. So what I need to do is actually hop completely out of my chair, do a little bit of gymnastics. So now it's like a, a balancing act not to, not to fall in the bathtub. And then from here, I can transfer. So this is not ideal. And yeah, this, these are the things that we sometimes have to deal with um, if the accommodation isn't 100% wheelchair accessible. So we're just finishing up right now and we have a youth meeting tonight. I have ministered there before and I'll tell you it's quite a unique experience. I so wish that I had that when I was, you know, in high school, when I was that age. And really just see the youth of not just South Africa, but anywhere that we go, so on fire for Jesus. That 120 that waited in the upper room, that received the baptism of the Holy Spirit right at that moment, they went out from there and they saw the same what Jesus did. They saw exactly the same. They reproduced the ministry of Jesus. It's available today for every single person who's truly hungry to receive it. And I'll tell you, hunger is a very important factor when it comes to being zealous for the Lord, desiring that. Many people want the power of God, but they don't want to go and witness for Him. So if you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it means that you need to go out. Now you see, any time that Jesus healed in the Gospels, through the act of healing, through the miracle, people believed. They knew it was the power of God that was able to heal. It's the power of God that's able to save. It's the power of God. So I just have to fulfill my dog, dad duties. Hope I don't hit something. I think keeping keeping them dry is the biggest challenge, but uh, let's see how this goes. I cannot go on a beach because the sand is too soft, but if you look here, it's, uh, it's decently hard enough, so with a little bit of effort I can still actually push here. When we got home we freshened up and then headed over to a friend of ours where we had a braai, watched the rugby and then just had some fellowship and an early night getting ready for the next day's meeting. He said, in order to pass the test, he has to know me more intimately. He wants to do things in your life. But in order to pass certain things, certain tests that he has for you in this time and going forward, 
You're going to have to draw near to the Lord like never before. That God wants to draw you closer. Because you're going to face some things in times to come. It's going to be tests, trials, how God is going to mature you through those things. And you will only pass those tests if you stay close to Him. You will only pass those tests if you stay close to Him. That the Lord was saying that you don't have to have everything figured out right now. The moment where you are right now in your life, you don't have to have everything figured out. There's still so much ahead of you that we place so much pressure on ourselves to have everything figured out by the age of 18. I must know what I want to go do. I must have my whole life figured out. But I found that journeying with the Lord, just staying close to Him, He will lead you in the right way. He will lead you in the right way. Everything that I thought that I would do in my life, I'm not doing today. God took me on a whole different path. And I think everyone can attest to that. That life never turns out the way that we think it will. The Bible tells us that a man plans his life. He plans his steps, but the Lord ordains his steps. So I was going to say. Your job's a joke